Welcome everyone to Networking Expert Throwback Thursday. I love Throwback Thursday. Why? Well, number one is I've been doing it for several years now. And um, it's always a joy to see, you know, how things were done way back then and the way they're done now. And we can always use that in any speaking terminology, reactions, actions, because we don't do things, this, as my grandchildren say, Mama, we don't do things like you used to do in the dinosaur years. You know, that's, that's what they always say. Oh, you know, we're not in the dinosaur years. And um, so... That's the way children think. And that's the way we need to think because guess what? It's true. We don't do things like we did in the past in any way, shape, or form in any. Sometimes it's not a good thing. Most of the time it is. I will tell you. Customer service these days for my area, for me, this is my opinion, needs to go back to the olden days. Thank you. Come again. My my pleasure, open the door for people. I mean, my goodness. I go through a drive through they throw me their food and I'll say, thank you, nothing, absolutely nothing. So, uh, and it's not just drive throughs I'm not knocking just drive it's just life in general. Mm -hmm. We want to take the time to teach our children or maybe our children just not listen because I'm not going to blame it on the adults every time. Maybe it's enforcement. I don't know what it is, but they're just not getting it. They're just not getting it. So um, I just hope and pray when my grandsons go out, they remember what we've talked. <laughs> I mean, you know, we've taught them to open doors for women to open doors for others, to open doors for elderly, to open doors for you, to pick up something if they find it and give it back. But do they remember? I don't know. But again, this is part of Throwback Thursday. What to remember, what we used to do, and now today. And we can use that no matter who speaks or what they speak about. So with that said... Um, I am going to turn over the next 25-ish minutes to Katie Mag and laugh and let go. Welcome, Katie. Yes. Good morning, everyone. You know, they say laughter is the best medicine, but have you ever laughed your way through a Monday morning traffic jam? When they wouldn't clear the road. Actually, it wasn't even a traffic jam. It was a train stopped on a track. Here's the thing. My brother was in the hospital. They put an ostomy in him. After 11 days, was not functioning. He called me. He said, I am sick. Nobody's listening to me. And I'd been on their tail multiple, multiple times. I said, I'm coming. He said, you better calm down. I said, don't worry. And I don't know if you guys are, you may not be from country, but we live out in the country. And this is how it is. When people come after you like a Bainy, you know, Bainy Rouge, are, eh! nobody going to do nothing. Nobody's going to do anything. You got to diffuse it first. Oh, sorry. My brother had a, um, um, I was going to the hospital because my brother had surgery and he was sick and, and I was stopped by a train. I could not make it to the hospital very fast because I got stopped by a train. I had an option. I could sit there and stew and get mad and stress out. Or I started watching the trains go past and watching some of the char cartoon characters, and it made me laugh even more. So I got to relieve my stress before I got to the hospital so I wouldn't go in and be like a little banny rooster hollering and screaming and carrying on. I was able to maintain my composure as a, I am a nurse, as a nurse, as a respectable adult, and as a concerned family member. He needed to be moved, and they needed to listen. They weren't listening. So what happened is they did listen. They didn't listen. Um, they did do something the next day because it was a Sunday. So they wasn't going to. But I had an option. I had an option when I got stopped by that train. That could have, you know, went stressed more and more and more and more. You know, I hear I'm trying to, you know. But I stepped back. I used some laughter. It was enough to help relieve my stress and let me think clearly again. 
So, but you know, everybody's life is hectic. It doesn't matter where, you know, we're, we're all business women. It's hectic. It's trying to like juggle and juggle and juggle. And I try to juggle here and I'm trying to learn, but it's not going so well. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, you know, we need stress in our life. Otherwise you're going to not be motivated and things like that to keep going. But we also need to realize what is important stress wise to maintain and keep going with. So um, according to the American Psychology Association, 75% of adults report experience moderate to high levels of stress. And that's even before the election started. Now that the election started, it is at least a third or fourth percent, at least a third higher than that. Um, how I actually got started into. So the statistics say that for every um, person that's stressed that goes to a 40 hour a week job, they waste five hours of productivity from being stressed. So that's five hours productivity for some company that they are losing. Um, that they're, they're being stressed. I actually started doing laughter and laughter yoga and laughter wellness about a little bit over five years ago. I was in, I work as a cardiac rehab nurse. So first of all, my patients are nervous. They've had a heart related instance. They're sitting there, they're exercising and the election comes on and the news is bombarding, bombarding, bombarding. And it's all negative. It doesn't matter which political position you are in front of my business. I am not here to say anything about politics. I'm not that, but that started working on my patients and I started them seeing um, their shoulders started coming up. Their body language showed that they were getting more and more stressed by coming into my rehab, which should have been the opposite of way. So we started doing some stress management techniques. We started doing, um, I started having them watch comedies versus the news. And after that point, I, I, they weren't allowed to watch news unless it was a special event. Like the, when the queen passed away, I said, you guys want to watch this? Cause it's no, like, no, that's like paint, watching paint dry. We don't want to watch <laughs> They wanted to watch the comedies and it, they said it was the best part of their day by starting it with humor. So, um, you could see a 90 year old man would start having a collaboration with a 30 year old man because they started laughing. It was that common bond actually. Sorry. All right. So so stress doesn't only affect us mentally, it affects us physically. I started watching my cardiac rehab patients. We started doing an intense rehab where I worked. They talked about, um, so uh, it, it affects you. It affects you physically, it affects you mentally, it affects your social abilities. It affects how you even perceive and your joy in life. Um, there's so many things that um, stress affects affects us and it's it's a ripple effect it's not just us it's everybody so um it, it's a persuasive it, uh, we need to address this head on actually um the survey found that um uh the process i i actually found it um <laughs> i tell the story of actually how i found cardi i was doing intense cardiac rehab and i was so excited because i was going to make more money i wanted to go back to the main hospital and i approached my my manager who um, uh, didn't really like me. So I approached her and um, she, cause I always worked by myself where I was and I was excited. I wanted to go back to the main hospital and work with other people besides. And she came in and I approached her. I said, Oh, you know, there's another job and da, 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 da. And she looked at me and she just started sneering. And she, you could smell her coffee breath. And she said, you will. And I said, Oh, I'm excited. She, you will never go back to the main hospital. No one likes you and nobody can stand you. Excuse me. I was so taken aback that I kid you not, I was mentally distraught. I could not tell you the words that this lady, in, you know, said to me, how it affected me. So the next week I had to do stress management with my patients and who was this poster child of stress but me? I was wanting to make more money so I could help out more, you know, and here being told that no one likes you, nobody can stand you. I sat there and started watching the video and the video started coming on and said, oh, you know, you can do stand up comedy or you can do this thing called laughter yoga. And this is how I got involved in laughter yoga. And we're going to do a little laughter yoga in here just a little bit. OK, not a lot because they only give me 25 minutes, but we'll do a little. It's, it's nothing too exciting. So but 
I noticed how many of my cardiac patients, I, I, I get it all the time when I have an evaluation and they'll come in. I just had a young person under the age of 60 come in the other day and she's like, I don't know why my cholesterol's good. My weight's good. I exercise and da, 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 da. And I, I said, okay, can I ask one more question? She said, sure. I said, what's your stress like? Well, I've been under stress for two years and da, 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 da. I said, okay. I said, do you understand that's a risk factor? She said, oh, I'm like, it's a risk factor. It, it's a risk factor. You, you know, and then her and I, uh, she had came in for a vow. Her and I got to discuss it. And then she actually, her and her husband went home and started talking to some other friends and they were having problems with their grandchildren, not their grandchildren, but the, the family members of the grandchildren. So it was more more than just her having that problem, but she felt she was singled out. It didn't make her feel better. However, they gave her some helpful hints how to help it. And then I can keep giving her more helpful hints and definitely for sure laughter. Um, laughter is research based and more research being done from anywhere from children. They want to get it. There's 10 of us laughter yoga teachers that are trying to get it into the schools because a lot of kids, um, don't have the best home life. And it's because mom and dad are busy, whether, or they give them all the electronics, they don't get that collaboration with other P with other people and to relieve their stress. So what happens with these young people that went through the pandemic and not have that connection with other people. Now they're not having a connection with other people because they have electronics going. What's going to happen 20 years from now? It, they need, they need to learn some of these skills for stress for one and um, for collaboration and, and relationships. Uh, studies show that laughter reduces not only stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, it also boosts, and releases endorphins, which make you feel good. And actually the studies show that if, even if you're not in somebody's conversation and they, and you're they're back behind you and they're talking and complaining, your cortisol level will go up without a matter, without even anything involved in their conversation. Our bodies are geared that way. Our bodies are geared to be negative and, you know, not, you know, all, you know, not, not typically up, up and coming here. So um, studies, uh, it helps our immune function, increases pain tolerance. They actually use laughter in um, some of the VA hospitals with some of the veterans. There's a, one of, I am in the middle of becoming a certified applied therapeutic humor. So it's a three-year intense program. And it's actually an international organization. There, our last meeting was in May. There was 172 people, 10 of them from Japan alone. And then 17 other countries were represented. South Korea. Uh, there was Budapest. One of my um, people that's in my group, the third year, is actually working on a grant with other countries and how to collaborate with them with laughter and humor. So this is, you know, even even the Pope a couple a uh, couple months ago, even the Pope. Um, used humor he invited over a hundred comedians like Whoopi, not katie mag but whippy goldberg you know Colbert, some of these big name celebrities or comedians i've never even heard of but they um he he brought him in he talked to him and said you know our world is very distraught and very uneasy right now we need more humor and laughter to bring more collaborations, to bring more joy to everybody, to bring it more back to a more harmonious and more um, joyful place. And he even told him, he's like, if you got to make fun, it doesn't matter what religion you are. But even if you want to make fun of our God, he's like, that's OK, because that's going to have laughter. It's going to have a positive effect anyway. So. With that being a, with that being said, so you kind of know a little bit of how I started doing laughter. I have a special needs son. I actually have two children. I have a special needs son and a typical son. I ain't so typical. I don't care what anybody says, but not so typical. But um, I work a job. I'm a nurse, and I see it. I see the patients being burned out. I'll be quite honest. I bring laughter. Um, little things tickle me. Little things I find I find the humor in. So I will kind of laugh a little bit. And it's amazing how many of the patients will come up to me because our doors are locked because of our 
way it is now. They have to have the doors locked until it's time for the next class, but they still can hear us. And I get it almost every week. We knew you were in there. And I'm like, well, how do you know I was in there? Because we could hear the laughter coming from inside. I said, well, I'm sorry, not sorry. It's just the way it is. But nobody likes to exercise. Um, nobody really likes to exercise. So if I can bring just a little bit of fun and avidity to it, let's do it. I mean, if nobody's harmed, I don't make jokes about anybody or anything, whatever. I kind of tell a little bit about my personal life, how funny it is, because I got a dog that doesn't like anybody but me. And oh, heavens, the dog likes to likes to spoon in the middle of the night. I go potty, I come back and she comes and backs up into me. And I'm like, what in the world? Get <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> it's a rescue dog. I get my work clothes on. She goes straight to her cage and nobody else in the house matter. Don't matter. They can do whatever they want. She don't care. Anyway, so with that being said, we'll do just a little bit. Um, so what I say is we're taking a journey. Um, we're taking a trip, pack for a trip, go for a trip and return happy and rejuvenated. How's that? I can't read the notes. Sorry about that. Whoever I sent him messages. Sorry. Um, so the first thing I want to do is we can go around the room and we can just say your name and you can say your favorite dessert. So my name's Katie and mine's Angel Food. Go so Dar and then Tamara. Unmute, please, everyone. I'll go. I'm ready. Gary <laughs> <laughs> and I like peanut butter pie. Go <laughs> so Dar. My name is Dar. And my favorite dessert is Abby's okay. chocolate um chocolate pudding pie, right? Chocolate pudding cake. Chocolate well, anything. Chocolate jello pudding cake. There you go. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's my favorite dessert. <laughs> yeah, I knew it. All right, Tamara, go and then we'll go to Tanya. Okay, well, my name is Tamara. Everybody should know who I am already. Anyway, and my favorite dessert is red velvet cake. Yeah. Tanya and then Anita. My name is Tanya, and my favorite dessert is any bakery cake. Just plain bakery cake and a fork. Awesome. Anita, then Abby. Hi, I'm Anita, and I'm like, dar, anything chocolate, but probably um, an addition, probably ice cream with chocolate on it, you know? There we go. Abby, and then Heather. Well, any ice cream with, with um, uh, De Deserano dribbled over it. Oh, yum. Nice, yeah. Heather, what was your favorite dessert in your name? I'm Heather Halverson. My favorite dessert has to be hmm, probably ice cream cake. Mm. Mm. Thank you. My name is LaDonna McAbee, and it would be brownies with vanilla ice cream. Mm. Oh, yummy. Nice. So the first exercise we're actually going to do is how do you feel overall? One is your worst, 10 is your best. Um, you could just take a deep breath in and kind of scan your body or how you feel mentally, physically. Some people feel not so well physically and some people not feel mentally. Don't have to tell your number. Just kind of think about it and we'll get back to that. Okay. So uh, laughter wellness is actually four different parts of it. The first one is brain gym. It enhances our mental clarity and focus. And what we're going to do is just do a, oh, ho, ha, 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 ho, oh, ho, ha, ha, ha. Are you ready? Do it three times. Ho, 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 ha, 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 ho, ho, ha, ha, ho, ho, ha, ha, One more. Ho, ho, ha, ha, ha. Yes. And what that does is we cross our brain, uh, our left and right brain, so it helps us think better. Uh, the second one we're going to do is positive affirmation and changes our mindset and resilience because our we're all geared for negativity. So all we're going to do is just say yes. So we're just going to raise our hands up and say yes. Ready? We'll do that three times. Ready? Yes. 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 
Awesome. All right. So the third um, practice that we do is actually deep breathing and it promotes relaxation and stress relief. And it also helps calm us. And that we're going to do is a pannonicolous breath. What is actually the first breath you do in the morning and you actually smile and sigh appreciation like you're stretching in the morning. This is a pannonicolous breath. <sighs> we'll do that three times. There's one. <sighs> Two. And then the third. <sighs> so in case you didn't know what that was, your first morning stretch and you do that is a penny necklace breath. All right. So the last uh, last exercise that we'll do right now is called a laughter play. It breaks down the berries and fosters joy. So we're just going to warm up by going. <laughs> we're going to go down our right arm. And then our left arm, and then our right leg, and then our left leg. Okay, ready? <laughs> awesome. So there's three key things I'd like for you to remember. Number one is eye contact. And it's kind of hard on Zoom, but do your best. Um, engage. No talking, of course, because we can mooch you all if we need, but we won't do that. And enjoy no new pain because if something bothers you or if you got a bad shoulder or whatever, you can't do it. That's fine. No harm, no foul. OK, so um, the next one we're going to do is called crazy eights. And what crazy eights is, is that you're going to take your right arm and you're just going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then you go to your left arm and then your right leg then left leg, and then you do seven, all four extremities, then six, and then five, four, three, two, and one. So when you're ready, we're going to do, we'll start with the right arm. So ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. 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 One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. It gets quicker the more we get less numbers, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. One, 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 one. Yay! <laughs> that is crazy eights. And that is actually one of the um, brain gym activities. All right. Um, the next one we're going to do is that's me. So I'll just say some things and you can just respond as that's me. Who likes pizza? That's me. <laughs> Number. All right. Uh, who likes dessert? That's me. <laughs> Who likes summer? That's me. Hey. <laughs> Who likes a little downtime? Yes. <laughs> That's me. All right. And last one. Who likes laughter? That's me. <laughs> Yay. All right. The next one we're going to do is another breathing activity, and it's just going to be up and down. So we'll just take a deep breath in. And when you come down, just go down and exhale in. One. We'll just do it three times. Do it again. And exhale. All right. Last one. Take a deep breath in. Hold. And then slowly exhale. Awesome. Ooh. All right. The next one we're going to do is hiccup laughter. So you just laugh a little bit or just take a deep breath in and exhale. And then you can just laugh. And just ever so often, just add a hiccup or just... <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ready? One, two, three. <laughs> oh.
<laughs> awesome so the next one we're going to do is rhythm is uh, another brain gym so we'll just do a uh you can do ho ho and then you can slap your legs ha 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 ho ho ha 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 ho ho ha 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 we'll do that five times more one ho ho ha 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 ho ho Ha ha ha. Oh, oh, ha ha ha. Awesome. All right. So the next one we'll do is five joyful things. Everybody can go around and say five joyful things that brings joy to them. Um, I'm gonna say work, um, my family, uh, summer, dessert, of course, and laughter. <laughs> and there's no right or wrong to these answers. All right, Tamara, then Sherry. Okay, five things I like. Um, I like laughter. I love to laugh. That's a, that's amazing. Um, to my granddaughter, or my grandchildren, not just my granddaughter. I have seven grandchildren. Um, and then um, my dogs. That's three. That's three, right? Okay, yep. that's good, right? Five, five, two more. I need two more, two more, two more, two more. I love to learn. So that's number four. Yep. And then I love to talk. That's five. Perfect. <laughs> Sherry, then let's go start. Uh, I love uh, my children, spending time with my children. Uh, my children are my friends. And I think that's amazing. They're adults. Uh, I love my grandchildren and being a grandma. And I uber love my husband best pick of my life. I uh, love spending time with him. And I absolutely love to laugh. I love to cook. I love to paint. I had six. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. No, don't apologize. <laughs> Thank you. Let's go to Heather. Oh, man. Mine would be family, laughter, summer, ocean, and vacation. Awesome. Dar, let's go. And then Anita. Abby, um, where I live, laughter, um, being creative, and spend, spending time with uh, uh, my networking friends. Oh. All right, Anita, and then um, let's go to Abby. I love my grandchildren. Tamara, I have seven as well. Um, I um, love chocolate. I mentioned that already. I love to learn. I love humor. And I love the beach. That's why I kind of live here. So Awesome. Abby, then let's go to Tanya. Well, my five are unicycling, um, Dar. Our glamping, can't, glamorous camping, we, we're doing all the time. And uh, my chocolate jello pudding cake, dessert, and communicating with others, such as our networking group. Awesome, Tanya. My five grandchildren, my two sons, um, serving other women. Motivating them, uh, eating, and I love humor. I love. I would love to go to a good comedy club every now and again. Awesome, awesome! I absolutely love, adore, and cherish my family. They are my everything. I love. Um, the vacationing, especially if it has anything to do with water. I love to experiment with food, try new foods, try new recipes. Oh, my fur friends, 
they're they're right next to my family. They are my family. Um, I don't know how many that is. Just stop me when I get to five. Um, I love friends. I love being and talking with virtual friends. I don't. My family is my are my friends, and then it's my virtual friends. I don't have time for other real friends, I guess. But no, they're real friends. They're all real friends. Do you know what I mean? In person friends. Because I spend <laughs> time with my family. So I hope that's enough. It is. <laughs> awesome. Yay. Oh, you did awesome. <laughs> you can have as many as you need. All right. So the next one we're going to do is a balloon laugh. So we'll just take a deep breath in and then blow it out. We'll do that three times, ready? Number two, hold it and then blow it out. One more time. Awesome. Now the, the next one we're going to do is called a gift of laughter. And what you're going to do is pretend you had a platter and just hand the gift of laughter to somebody else. <laughs> Awesome. Are you guys by a table? Because then we'll do the next one that I like to do is just, uh, you're just going to clap on the objects. Uh, ho, ho, or yeah. I'm going to clean off the table here. Ho, ho, and then stop your feet. Ha, ha. Ho, ho, 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 ha, ha. Ho, ho. <laughs> the next one we're going to do is our superman pose and this is actually amy cuddy um says that when you need to feel more confident or whatever we're going to do the superman pose do your like i'm a superman or superwoman yes yes so we're going to do it ready ah uh, yes 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 <laughs> All right, so the next one we're gonna do is the elbow breath. So when you breathe in, you're gonna go back. When you exhale, you bring it forward. Breathe in and exhale. Breathe in and exhale. One more. Breathe in and exhale. All right. Now the next one is a happy, sad laughter. So take your hand up and it'll be sad. Take it down, laugh. <laughs> one more time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right you all can sit back and relax a little bit and i'm going to have you just kind of go back in your memory bank or any time that you have a happy memory and we're just going to chuckle for about a minute or two well about a minute i got my timer in my pocket sorry all right so just take it um if you remember a happy time that made you feel good, whether it uh, was a time with your family that you laughed unconditionally or something that just made you feel good. Um, so take a deep breath in. Remember, you can close your eyes if you need and then just think about the happy memory. <laughs>
<laughs> All right, I'll wait till everybody comes back. <laughs> All right. The next thing we're going to do is just a progressive muscle relaxation. So we're going to take a couple deep breaths in. You're going to take your right arm out and you're just going to tighten that arm. Take a deep breath in and then slowly release it out. Do it again. Tighten it up and slowly release it. Take your left arm. Take a deep breath in and tighten. And slowly release. Take a deep breath in, tighten it up. And slowly release. Go it over your right leg, tighten your leg up. Okay, and slowly release. One more time on the right leg, just tighten it up and slowly release. Okay, take your left leg, tighten it up, slowly release. One more, take deep breath in and slowly release. Okay. Next, we're gonna take a deep breath in and raise our shoulders. And when you exhale, just slowly release them. One more time. And slowly release. Now you can tighten your whole body. And slowly release. We'll do that one more time. Tighten your whole body. Hold it. And slowly release. All right. The next what we're going to do is just happy news radio. Everyone can share one some share something as good news or what you would like to hear. Um, what I'd like to hear is um, you got the job. <laughs> there we okay. go. And then we will go to Anita. Um, what do I hear? Brain. Um, uh, you did a great job on Saturday. <laughs> All right, Anita, then we'll go to Dar. Get a lot of positive feedback on my talk. Awesome. Dar, then we'll go to Tamara. Yes, I like that one too, Anita. I like reading my Google reviews and my reactions on my art. Tamara, then Abby. What would I like to hear? I think I would like to hear, Tamara, you did such a great job. That's what I want to hear. <laughs> Absolutely. Abby, then Tanya. What I like to hear is that I'm their computer angel, that I'm their angelic description. Awesome. Tanya, then Heather. I'd like to hear that I'm cancer free. Yes. Tanya, Heather. Thank you, Tanya. Heather. Way to go. You did it. Yes. You are spectacular when you're on stage. Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, everybody. Now we're going to take another deep breath in and just slowly exhale. All right, we're going to repeat that self-assessment we did at first. The one was the worst thing you've ever been, and 10 is the best. How would you rate yourself now? OK, 
Okay. And everybody can share one word, how you feel now. Or you can share how you thought about this all. I loved this, Katie. I needed it today so much. And I'm telling you, my number is at least an eight. Go Dar and then Tamara. My number was a, uh, probably a one or a two with a splitting headache. Now it's a seven going up to eight with the headache slowly dissipating. That's awesome. That's awesome. Tamara, and then let's go to Anita. My number started out low because I was, I can't say a one, but it started out low. I was in a kind of funky little mood. Katie, I couldn't help but laugh. I laughed the whole fucking time. And I think this was the best. I'm not kidding. And my number now is probably about an eight or a nine. I'm thinking it's probably closer to that. So there you go. Awesome. Anita and then Abby. Yeah, great job, Katie. Um, I'm a nine, maybe a 10. Awesome. Abby and then Sherry. Uh, I was a three, but now I'm a nine. Awesome. I, I'm actually the same. I started as a kind of like a three. I was feeling, I am kind of recovering from being sick. So I was sad that I didn't feel as well this morning as I did yesterday morning. So I was a little like, Ugh. so thank you. I'm about a nine now. It's all good. good. Thank you. Let's go to Tanya. I was a five. I got the grandkids out the door in the school and my son out the door to work, which is always an adventure. And now I'm a nine. Awesome. Yeah. How about you, Heather? I'm sorry. I missed the first part of this. But this morning, I was actually doing a self-evaluation and just some of the emotions that I was going through with that kind of brought me down because it's like, has it really been that long since I felt that way? And now I feel so much better. So I would definitely rate myself eight or nine. That's awesome. You know, you never know what you're going to get when you come to one of these events. And you know what, I, I want to give all of you a pat on the back for being here this morning, because we always see different faces, some of the same faces, and then some different, you know, mingled in every time. But I feel like we learn something every single time we join together. Um, I want, we have a few minutes left. Katie, or have you finished your talk? I want to give them time to ask questions. Yeah. Yep. No, I finished my talk and just think that that is laughter and humor. Um, there is more people using it. Like I said, I'm part of the international organization. There's more people using it because it doesn't take, it doesn't take anything extra out of your own body. Your body hacks the good happiness hormone, whether it be the dopamine, the oxytocin, serotonin, and endorphins. It, it's your body that you're just, you know, and there's days you don't feel like laughing and there's days I don't feel like laughing. And right now I'm doing a personal challenge before my birthday. I decided to do a minute of laughter every day for the next year. I'm day 25. So if you see me on my page, sometimes, and it's raw, I do not, I don't censor it. I don't go back and edit the thing. It is raw and it is real. <laughs> That's the way to be authentic. Yep. That's the way you believe it. Think it, do it, you know, at the moment. Who has a question that um, you can give Katie to help you today or tomorrow? Let's come up with some questions, concerns, comments that you have for Katie. In this okay, I have no question again, but, or yes, I do have a question. What did you call this again? Laughter therapy? Is that what it is? It's after it's actually a combination of laughter yoga and laughter wellness. So I I'm certified in both. I'm actually a teacher in laughter yoga, but some people because of the prat called yoga, it freaks them out and then they don't want to do it. Where I can say it's laughter wellness or laughter exercises, and people are more apt to do it. So I don't usually even tell them what we're doing until we're done because of that thought. I loved it, and um, like I said. It's so funny because when I was watching you laugh, I was like, no, I was fine. And then all of a sudden I was watching you laugh and I was laughing so hard. I couldn't even stop. You said to be sad. I was like, I can't always laugh too hard. But anyway, 
I really enjoyed you. And okay, I'll shut my big mouth now. No, you're always perfectly great, Tamara, just the way you are. Who else? Who else? Sherry, I know you have something. I'm curious, uh, how long does it take to become certified in laughter yoga? Um, to be a leader is two eight hour sessions and you have to have a teacher teach you to do it. So there are some you online. You have to be certified in some form of yoga to get certified in that. No, no. Um, do that. no, there, um, there's places all over where are you located at. I'm in Illinois. Uh, there is a lady that does it. I think her name's Tamara. I think up in that area. I don't know if she still teaches classes or at all, but you can go online. Actually, um, laughter yoga started in 1995. A Dr. Madan Katari started it with five people in a park. It has actually evolved more. The last classes that he gave us, you know, after two weeks, they realized their jokes got stale, but they realized how much benefit they got from the laughter. And he realized his patients got benefit from laughter. So that's how that kind of started. Um, it's in over 110 countries throughout the world. You could go like you can go to India and India actually uses it for their students and they use it for their companies because it helps build team development. And when I go and talk, I talk about the humor and adding that, especially with um, hospitals and nursing homes and stuff like that. If you've been in one lately, I've been in many lately. Both brothers, mo both my brothers have been very ill. Um, both of the brothers have been in and out of the hospital since June or January, both of them for different things. One had a ruptured appendix and kept getting, um, sick. And then the second one, um, fell, broke his ankle, um, had horrible care at the hospital. Then he had a heart attack after he came back from the first surgery. And then, then he got a decubitus on his backside. So then they had to put a colostomy in him. And they did not listen. I, I'm actually a critical care nurse to be, I'm trained as a critical care nurse first. Now I'm a cardiac rehab nurse. And um, so to say that I have some medical background is a lot. <laughs> they, they, Heather, you had a question. Yeah. So my question would be, what inspired you to get into this laughter therapy in the first place? I got into the laughter therapy, actually many reasons. Um, one is, is because of what my boss had said to me and that um, came across the video about laughter therapy or laughter yoga. So I went down to Cincinnati, which is a three hour South drive from us. And I went and got certified and then I brought it back here. And then of course, pandemic happened. So then, and I live in a rural area, so kind of, eh, you know, but there are people that's interested in it. And once they do it, most people can feel the benefit. And then I, Personally, I have an autoimmune disorder and I need something to help hack my white count up and to keep me healthy. So I use it in that too. So I use that. Um, I got into the laughter, I got into the uh, applied therapeutic humorous because of the laughter yoga and knowing how much research is out there and how much they're doing more of. And they're also doing some programs with kids. And I'm also a child, a uh, children's book author. I just wrote a book called Turn That Frown Upside Down and it talks about um, uh, mindset and um, like, you know, if you have a problem, you need to talk to somebody or whatever. So it, it's a uh, uh, probably and I have a special needs son, which is a lot of stress. So my, my life was very stressful and I needed That's to do lot. something for me. Most yeah. people's lives are stressful right now. So. <laughs> There's a lot of stress in our world right now, all over the world. Jar, do you have any questions, comments, concerns? Um, not really a question, but um, I just wanted to say this that I I loved this uh this session as much as I love Harry Sherry say that we are unrepeatable miracles. Yep. <laughs> awesome. How about you, Anita? This was great. I mean. <laughs> My niche is helping people um, who've received a life-changing diagnosis mm -hmm. to move through the shock and grief and to hope and healing. And laughter is critical. And I love brain gym stuff. I do energy mm -hmm. medicine work. Oh. So, um, you know, just connecting hemispheres and getting, um, getting the energy flowing in a way that's supportive and healing is very important. So thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. How about you, Tanya? Anything come to mind? 
Yeah, I have. I work with women and I do live events on on Zoom virtually. Mm-hmm. And I'm looking for someone to come in and possibly break that up a little bit and teach a little yoga and the okay. laughter yoga seems like a good fit. Okay. We need to, we need to connect. Yep. Yeah. Let me know. Let me know as long as I'm off or yeah, as long as I'm off, um, I will be more than happy to help you out and do it. Okay. It's in September. So okay. um, put your information in the chat. That'd be great. Okay. Yeah. I did that at the beginning, but maybe do it again just in case. Um, uh, and then, Abby, did you have anything to add before we go? Um, no, uh, not really. Just that uh, this has been an awesome session. Perfect. Thank perfect. you very much. Thank you, Abby. Um, and I know um, some of you came in a little bit late. What we did is we put in our information in the chat first. Just one link of how you want people to reach out to you is that email, is that Facebook message, LinkedIn message, is that an appointment link? And then the next one was, how can we help you today? Is that a Google review? Leave the link for it. Is that a Facebook review? Leave the link for it. Do you need us to go into your YouTube and follow you? Then leave us your YouTube link, please. And I'll give you a minute to catch up on that before we go. Um, Dar put in a screenshot up. It's a little bit up above. You can grab, please, and go to your social media and put it all on your social media. Tell people what you've been doing, what you learned from Katie today, what you love the most about what you did today, and that it's Throwback Thursday. Um, also go to our group in Facebook. And yes, I had to open a new Facebook group when someone hacked my Facebook and I had to start all over again. And some of you still have not joined that group yet. So please do that because that's where you'll find all of, um, all of the goodies. What's going on next? What's on the calendar? Um, it's, it also has our videos in it, things like that. Um, mm -hmm. LaDonna, can you possibly put the link in there? I couldn't find it. I tried to search, and that's how I realized the other one was archived. I got, I got it. Okay, Thank you. Dar, please put that in for me. Dar is incredible about helping me get on social media and links. She's always on top of it. Thank you, Dar. You're welcome. It says it's not available. It says it's not available at the moment. Oh, oh. I'm, I'm there. I can I can see it. Yeah, That's it okay. came up. Yeah, it came up. It for opened me. up for me. Yeah. It that's what it says when I press on it to open it. Copy. Can someone else try it? Because I I click on it and it it takes me there. It worked, and I think Sherry said the same thing, right, Sherry? It it worked. Okay, Katie, it's just too much laughter in your soul right now. <laughs> <Not clear. laughs> I'm voted off the island. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've been voted off a lot of things. It's okay. <laughs> I'm also getting the content not available. You are getting the same thing? Uh-huh. Okay, so um, I will get you the link. It's because it's private, LaDonna. That's probably why. You've it's probably had it. You have it set to the fact that people can't find it unless they're invited to it. Okay. And unfortunately, okay. once you do that, you can never change that. Right. And I did put it private because there's things in there just for us. Um, and we don't, you know, don't always want everyone to have. So um, I, I don't know why it's working for some and some, I don't, I don't know. But okay. I will make sure that we re-invite you to the group. Okay. And um, immediately... So that is Katie and Anita. Anyone else that can't get in? Okay. I will get that taken care of right away and then um, let you know when it's done. With that said, have a most amazing day ever. Have a great Friday. And do not forget, if you have not registered for Saturday's event, you must register. It is going to be outstanding. Fabulous speakers, and Sherry's going to speak. 
Tamara speaking, Abby is speaking, Tanya is speaking. Um, and there's 12 amazing speakers and two sponsors, and it's going to be amazing. So grab the ticket. If you can't attend all of it, attend what you can. If you can't attend any of it, go ahead and buy the ticket because you will receive the recording. Oh. And you can watch it at your leisure. That's the beauty of why I do that. A lot of uh, people don't do that, but I just think it's important because everyone can't attend sometimes. Or they have to, to miss some, like Sherry can attend the first few hours, but then she's got another uh, engagement to do. So she will get the recording and can finish watching everyone speak. And you get the chat. So don't forget that. That's your money on the table. All right, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank, Thank you, you everybody.